Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this quick dabble, I'm going to show you how to get a Node.js app up and running inside of a Docker container on your local computer. So to make this work on your computer, you'll need to have Docker installed, which you can get from docker.com, and you'll also need Node.js. And with that, um, you can create a folder for your app, and I just created one called Hello World, and we'll initialize that with NPM, the Node Package Manager. And uh, we'll also use NPM to install um, a dependency. And we're gonna use Express, which is a framework for Node. And it's getting that framework now. And uh, all we need in addition is just an index.js uh, file for our app code. And so we've got that. And I'm using uh, Visual Studio code to um, as my editor, but you can use any editor that you're comfortable with, of course. So there's my really simple app code for my Hello World app, and you'll notice that I've got the code set up to listen on port 8081. So if we go back over here and um, run that, uh, so it says our app is listening on port 8081, and if we go to our browser to open it up, local post 8081, there it is, Hello World. But it's not running inside of our Docker container right now. It's just running on our local app. And our goal is to get it running inside of Docker. So we'll kill that here and we'll um, set it up to run inside of Docker. And to do that, we need a Docker image. And then we need to run that image inside of a container. And to make that happen, we need a Docker file. And a Docker file is just a text file that uh, provides the instructions to Docker for how to create uh, the image that we want to create. And so um, it's, in our case, um, pretty simple. It's going to be just seven lines. And uh, let me talk through what's going on here. So that on the first line, we're telling Docker to use another image as a template for the image that we're creating. And we're using the official node image in version seven of that image. On the second line, we specify a working directory for where our code's going to live inside of the Docker container. And then on lines three, four, and five, we're telling Docker to copy our local files into the container's working directory and then run NPM to install any dependencies. On line six, we tell Docker to execute our app inside of the container using Node and uh, to run index.js. And then finally on line seven, we're telling Docker which po uh, port to expose. And let me change that to 8082 because I want to show you how ports are mapped in a second here. And with that, we, we have our um, Docker file all set up. That's all we need. So now with that, we can use the Docker build command to actually build our image. And so the Docker build command looks like this. It's docker build dash T and you reference the image that you're gonna use. And in our case, um, it's gonna be the hello world image and then the location of the Docker file. And because I'm running this command from the same directory, I can just use a dot. And so I do that, it starts building the image, uh, which is what we want. And um, there we go, the, uh, the image is built. And so now uh, we're just gonna use our docker run command uh, to, uh, to run our image inside of a container. And so that command is docker run, and we're using the dash p parameter to map the port. So if you recall, I set in the docker file the port um, that's being exposed to 8082, but the app is running on port 8081. So we're mapping that here. And then we just reference the image that we're going to be using, and in our case, it's hello world. So when I run that, uh, I get a response saying that our app is listening on port 881, but if I go to my browser and refresh here, localhost port 881, it's not running on our localhost anymore. It's running inside of our Docker container. So it's on port 881 inside of the container, which is exposing 8082. So if I change this to 8082 and refresh, there it is. I get my app running inside of my Docker container. So that was the goal, and uh, that's, uh, that's it for this quick dabble. Hopefully it was helpful. In a follow-on quick dabble, I'll show you how to move the Docker image into production in a Amazon EC2 container services environment. So if you like this uh, quick dabble, please uh, subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel and leave comments if you have any. Thanks so much.